わるっつぁ。Oh my god!Well, here we are.Homecoming week of 2020.I still don't know everyone in my class.Google Classroom is leagues behind Echo. And to top it off, there's no dance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you getting on about? Hey, hey, cut, cut the music. Ali, listen, some things in life are bad. They can really make you sad. Sure, everything's changed, but that's not going to stop us from following our dreams. Always look on the bright side of life. No, stop right there. We're not doing that.、Uh, Touche, but you see where I'm getting at, right? Wait, you had a point? The point is, welcome to Homecoming Week! Give a warm welcome to the Patrick Taylor dance team! So, as some of you guys know, we won't be having a game this week, but we still want to wish all the players a great season. Also, we won't be having a dance, but tomorrow we will be hosting a volunteer event. Now, let's get to know the people we'll all be cheering on. Good luck, guys! We'll be introducing the homecoming court at the end of the video. In the meantime, we'll be recognizing cross country, swim, and volleyball for all their amazing victories and hard work. Cue the cameras. Favorite thing about your coach?、Um, all of his hair. <laughs> I feel like you all had a really strong finish, and I feel like a really proud mom right now. Please、yeah. have a word. How do you feel right now? How do you feel right now? <laughs> Sir, how do, how do you feel? How do you feel?、Um, cross country. You sure? Or swimming? No. Not even a question. Like, come on. Co no competition. Swimming. Duh. What's, what's cross country? Swim. Obviously. I can't run to save my life, but,、um, you know, props to cross country, too. Both sports are great. I feel like a lot of people they underestimate like, how hard swim actually is.、Uh, I feel like a lot of people just think it's like, oh, you hop in the pool for an hour and then you're out and you're done. It's actually like, a lot of work, a lot of pushing yourself, a lot of like, like, drowning is also a big part of it. But,、um, a big ear to ear, all out, happy as can be smile. One hundred percent guaranteed, I can say yes, I will miss this swim team. It's, it's been a good four years, and I wish it would have been my full middle school through high school. I'm gonna miss my coaches, Miss Becky, or Miss Krause, as some of you know, and、uh, Coach Connor. But I'm definitely gonna miss all of the memories and friendships that I've made throughout this time on the swim team. Team as a family. A big family, I'd say. Go to. We're, we're pretty good.
That was beautiful. You should tell them that if you haven't already done so in the sports pathway. Encourage the cross country and swim teams who are leaving next week to compete at a state championships level and congratulate volleyball for all of their wins. Is it time to announce the courts yet? Hang in just a little bit more. Hey, has anyone seen Ashley recently? I thought you were talking to her while Allie was talking. Yeah, didn't she, uh, she said that she was gonna go check up on her AC near her door because the vent was messing with the audio or something. But Dash doesn't have a vent to close her room. That's suspicious. That's weird. Maybe we should get the teachers to help us out. Teachers, I have grave news for y'all. It seems there's an imposter among us. The rules are simple. Find the imposter before it's too late. We're counting on you. Okay, I think my audio is better now. Did I miss anything? Just in time to announce the club courts. These people were chosen for their passion and commitment for the club. Congratulations! Okay, do we present the Hoko courts now? Yes, sir! And now, we are proud to present... That is your 64, you know what? I, I don't know, what, whatever's appearing on the screen right now, however much that is, Little Red Wagon, buy it right now, whatever the number is. Dang. A little, a little Red Wagon. A wonderful thing that man is selling, I don't know who that is, but he is selling the opportunity of your lifetime. You know what? I bought it. I bought me a little red wagon. And this, in this beautiful nighttime that we're having in the beautiful nighttime air, makes you think you should buy a little red wagon. That little red wagon right there, I'm selling it again. I'm reselling it. It is going on real scale. And let me tell you, the value has only increased since I bought it. Down below you is the number that you can call the amount that you gotta pay, let me tell you, if you don't buy that little red wagon, what are you doing with your life? Buy the little red wagon today, and I can promise you, just as the man said in this video, you won't regret it. I can promise you that. <laughs> Sorry. I love my wagon. And I was saying, why don't I get to go to the announcements every morning and say, Good morning, tigers! Right? <laughs> Allie? Right. Here are your homecoming high school maids and dudes. It's my house, come on, turn it up! Uh. Hear a knock on the door and the night begins. We've done this before, so you come on in. Make yourself at my home, tell me where you've been. Pour yourself something cold, baby, cheers to this. Your 2020-2021 homecoming grand marshals are Mr. Sheremy and Miss Brunner. Let's hear it for the maids and dukes of homecoming 2020. 
It has certainly been a year. I wonder how the 2020 seniors are doing. Yeah, I mean, so much has changed since we've last seen them. No problemo! Let's solve this mystery, gang! What's up, Tiger? This is how you said. Hey, Tigers. It's Sadie Jensen from the class of 2020. Hello, Patrick Taylor Tigers. It's Colton. My name is Kaya. So I'm Amaya. And it's a beautiful day up here at Villanova University. For me so far, college is great, given the circumstances I'm in. I'm lucky enough to be on campus and even have a few in-person classes. But I'm thinking about Patrick Taylor, and I do miss a few things. One of them is being an athlete. I miss the athletic program at Patrick Taylor a lot, so shout out to the swim team and the cheer team. I really enjoyed working out with my friends every day. What I miss most about PT is seeing my friends that I have known since the sixth grade, and even some people I've known since elementary school, so it's been different not seeing them every day. Graduation day was probably like the most I've ever cried in my whole high school time through six through 12. I miss everything about Taylor, but what I miss the most is how close of a community it was. I know we all complain sometimes, but at the end of the day, we love it there. My advice for freshmen is to be productive in your free time, whether that is a combination of act like outside of school activity, volunteering, sports, club. Take classes that you think might be hard to take. Make sure that you're participating in something in your free time and you can start building up your resume now. You should live your high school life to the fullest and know where you want to be in four years and take the steps you need to get there. Study, make sure that those grades are looking right because your transcript starts now for college. And college may be a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it in the end. Because you never know um, where you find your passion and you know where your calling in life is going to end up being. Um, even if it's far away from home, go for it. You know, it's scary at first, but it's been a great experience. Being that my senior year was also limited by COVID-19, some advice I have to the current seniors is to use this adversity to drive you and not to let it get the best of you. Don't forget, y'all all can be there for each other. My advice for sixth graders, um, don't try to grow up too fast. Try to find some friends now that will motivate you scared to reach out to your senior buddies, your um, older peers, if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, everyone at Patrick Taylor is really, you know, we're a family, so it's not, you know, don't be scared to reach out to other people. My advice to the sixth graders at Patrick Taylor would be to understand how great of a school Patrick Taylor is and to cherish your seven years here. You'll find out in the future. I want to give a shout out not only to the teachers and faculty I had in my years at Patrick Taylor, but to the current teachers and faculty at Patrick Taylor as well. You guys are the reason that the school is so successful. And then I want to give a shout out to the cross country team. You guys are great. I would finally like to give a shout out to all my coaches at PT and a special shout out to the baseball team, my second family. Finish what we started and do what we weren't able to do last year, bring home that district title. My favorite person, I'm gonna say it, uh, Mr. Curran, Dr. Worthy Lake, thank y'all so much. Um, Mr. Curran really helped me out with my um, college essay, making sure it was good and everything. And Dr. Worthy Lake, just hands down, best bio teacher ever. I would like to give a shout out to Ms. Wagner. I got a five on the AP Calculus test and I, I know that it was because of her. She was tough, but she taught as well. And I just want to give a shout out to Ms. Wagner. Uh, also, I miss my sixth grade buddy, Michelle. And just to everyone watching, times are stressful, but you guys are hardworking and resilient, and you'll get through these very odd times. So, with that, I will leave you guys. Bye, Tigers. But I just wanted to let you know that you got this, Tigers. I believe in you. And keep pushing through all the way to the end of this year. And that was a pretty good hoko, I gotta say. Yeah, we should do this again like two more times this year or something. Dude, totally. <laughs>